Over 30,000 Zambians have been scammed in an online scheme which was promising profits after one invests their money. The scheme involving three entities, namely Golike, E-Tesco and E-Million were enticing members of the public to invest a particular amount of money and receive interest based on that. Unlike other online schemes, the three entities all had required paperwork from institutions such as PACRA and ZRA. This encouraged people from all works of life to invest. However, David Mulenga, a student at Cavendish University who invested 68,000 kwacha, says the program only worked for about two weeks, after which they were locked out of the system and unable to access their money. My cry why I'm here to movie TV, we want the government to look into this matter as quickly as possible and in whichever way possible so that they help us retrieve the money lost, the money which we are scammed. We know we were depositing these monies to, we were, for, for, for us to do the deposit into uh, you know, these platforms. We were using MTN, Airtel and uh, these are uh, banks like uh, APSA banks, uh, Standard Chartered, Zanaco. We, for those that were doing the withdrawals, we were receiving our Z codes from Zoona, meaning these scammers were working with it. the Zambian system, the bona fide Zambian systems. They have stolen money from us in the presence of Zikta. This thing has started way back, it is now two weeks in, and I, I believe the president has heard about this, his excellence, Mr. Edi Kachagwalungu. Please come into this matter, say something before we vote. Political parties help us. Me, me oh, personally, the political party which is going to help, I'll vote for that political party with the, the 30, you know, 30,000 people scammed. Give us the money that we only invested, not, we do not need any capital, yes. any interest. No we only want our money, our money yes. should come back. Yes. That's, That's what we want. So, so. That is all. We do not want anything that has to do with you people. The only thing that we want it is our money. Mr. President, yes. Eddie Katagwalungu, we cry for you to help us. They claim that efforts to get in touch with those that were spearheading the scheme, only known as managers, have failed as their phones are switched off. Not received anything from that. The people we are connecting us, the people used to send money from, they are nowhere to be seen. They are nowhere to be seen. I'm trying to contact them, their phones are off. Their phones are totally off. And the, 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 the photos they were used on social media, they were fake. Everything was fake. Zambia Police Deputy Spokesperson Danny Mwale says members of the public must be wary of companies offering unrealistic profits. It's very, very important for the members of the public before they make any transaction to do verification, verification, background information first of all, with the person you are, you are, you are transacting with. Sad enough, people have transacted uh, with um, individuals they have never met. Yeah. You see, it's, it's just on Facebook and, um, and uh, or social media, you've never met that person. But uh, because it's dangling a carrot and then it's sent so much and people have ended up sending money to that person. But how do you send money to someone we've never met? Virginia Chilongo, Movie TV News, Lusaka.